we'll go into the dinosaur of the day, Indoraptor, which of course appears in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's the new hybrid dinosaur, and supposedly the last hybrid dinosaur in this series. It's also the first dinosaur in the Jurassic World series to be male. I read that somewhere, mm. although it didn't seem that specific in the movie. Yeah, I don't think they ever actually mentioned that. They said it needs a mother, but I don't think they said he needs a mother. I think it was always it. It, yeah. Usually the dinosaurs are it, um, except for blue. Yep. <laughs> Uh, you might be able to guess from its name, it's a hybrid of Indominus Rex and Velociraptor. Yeah, that's kind of a weird one because that makes it like two parts Velociraptor because Indominus Rex was already part Velociraptor. Oh yeah, tiny bit. But that actually, to your point, Garrett, about them not calling the Velociraptors Velociraptor, they were saying because of the Velociraptorness of it, it would respond to Blue as a mother. So they're implying Blue is a Velociraptor. I know what you're saying, but they didn't actually say that it was a velociraptor, if you think about it. They said it was a combination of the two most dangerous dinosaurs. Oh. And then they said Henry Wu's creation is one of them. I see. It's the successor to his earlier creation. So you, all of that was just kind of inferred that they were talking about Indominus Rex and Velociraptor. They never actually said the word Velociraptor. Uh, okay. Well then. <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly, I might not be. If you want to learn more about either of those dinosaurs we covered in Dominus Rex back in episode 29 and Velociraptor in episode 83. If you're in the mood for a real dinosaur, not a fictional dinosaur. <laughs> well, in Dominus Rex. Yeah. Still fiction. Oh, true. Anyway, Indoraptor was about three quarters the size of Indominus Rex, although... Really? I think it looked smaller in the yeah, movie. Yeah, I would have said like half the size. Although a lot of times the size, quote unquote, is just talking about length. Mm. And it might have been three quarters of length because it, it's a lot lower to the ground mm -hmm. and skinnier. But it might have still been like 30 feet. Maybe Indominus Rex was 40 feet or something like that. Yeah. As you probably know, it was dark black in color and had a yellow streak from the base of its neck to its tail, which is kind of similar to Blue's metallic blue streak. Oh, good point. Yeah. I was thinking it was very strange that it had that yellow streak, but a lot of the velociraptors had those kind of colored streaks. Mm -hmm. So I guess if it's coming from the same sort of DNA, that almost makes sense. Yeah. And it had this kind of red mark around its eye. Oh, yeah. It's like eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell in the movie, it can move really fast in the dark and it used a echolocation more effectively than bats. Huh. Where did it say that? That's a weird one. It wasn't that specific. It was more like in the auction scene, they were talking about its heightened senses uh. and how well it could hear and I think smell. But that seemed to be inconsistent too, because when it's trying to track down Owen and Claire and Maisie at one point, it just walks right by them. Yeah. And it's sniffing around too, and it can't smell them when they're like four feet away. Yeah, I, I guess there's a door in between them, but that doesn't seem to be enough. Well, there wasn't even, I remember when they were under the Triceratops skull and it was like walking around the other oh, sides yeah. of it. Even then it couldn't smell them. So maybe its senses aren't that good. They were trying to sell it, you know? True. They were just upselling. <laughs> It did appear to be bulletproof, like Indominus Rex. Yeah, that was unnecessary. And it was good at playing dead. That was that was good. I yeah. like that. And then, of course, it was trained to respond to, what was it, the, the laser sensor followed by the Acoustic sound. Acoustic signal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that touch. If you're t talking about having like a really advanced predator, training it to attack by laser guided, like some sort of advanced missile is pretty cool. Well, that's when the bidding started, even though it wasn't for sale. Yeah. That's when they found that detail out. I did like the touch of how they demoed that. They just pointed at a random guy in the audience. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's like, here's how it works. <laughs> uh, that would be terrifying if you were that guy or really anyone nearby him. It had some interesting teeth, too, now that I'm thinking about it. Like when Wheatley was trying to pull its teeth out, its mouth was closed and the teeth are still sticking up. Yeah, yeah. They gave it non-dinosaur teeth, basically, because mm -hmm. dinosaurs all have essentially an overbite, whereas crocodiles and stuff have those interlocking teeth, and they give it teeth like a crocodile, mm -hmm. which I think Indominus Rex had, too. So that might be why they did that. Mm. And the same kind of like sharp, almost like crocodilian teeth. Right. Well, some of the characters, as soon as they saw it, did say, what is that thing? So they recognized yeah. it wasn't a dinosaur. That's true. It had a strangely flexible tail, I noticed. Oh, yeah. Compared to, say, Velociraptor and Indominus Rex, which both have tails that are held straight back 
out from the body and they're stiff. But this guy had a tail that is whipping back and forth like it's a dog or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another detail I didn't like in the 4DX. Oh, because it was whipping you in the legs yeah. with the air blasts. That's true. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that was kind of strange. Must be the frog DNA. <laughs> <laughs> the tails, the frog DNA. <laughs> That's the excuse everybody gives for why they aren't actually like dinosaurs. Uh, it's the frog DNA. <laughs> So yeah, that pretty much covers Indoraptor, and you should watch the movie. You can see all these interesting characteristics for yourself. Yeah, 